Okay, so now I got you in the stand. Oops, you're a little bit crooked. Let me fix you. Is that better? Okay, so I'm gonna show you each bowl and I also have my Fenton book that I've been trying to look up some of the stuff and seeing like about what year it um, was made. You don't know for sure, but I thought the book was kind of interesting and um, you could go along with me and see it, um, see when it was dated. And if you have a better idea, please comment in the comments. Now, I hope you have a cup of coffee. I sure do. <laughs> and uh, let me take a drink real fast. Mmm, coffee. All right, so for this lot, did I pay too much? Well, I was bidding against someone and I probably did because I really, really wanted this lot. <laughs> so I paid 130. Now these bids started on high bid at $10. And um, while you're bidding and um, wanting a lot, I find it very hard to cut yourself off. I kept on saying, you know, $80, that's it. That's all I'm gonna pay. But then, you know, with taxes and their premium, the full price I paid for this lot was a little bit under 160. So I'm kind of just looking to get my money back and maybe a little bit of profit because it was a lot of fun bidding on it. Um, I'm not quite sure yet how much each bowl will go for. We'll find out. And I am um, going to have a live sale with D from Thrill of the Thrift on February 9th. So I hope you can join us. And that should be a lot of fun. I will have some of these and I have, uh, you know, seven more lots for you to look at. So uh, from now until February 9th, I will be doing some haul videos. Hope you can join them and look at some pieces and maybe pick out a few that are your favorites. Um, let's get started. First, I want to just welcome you all back with open arms and, um, Thank you for coming back to see me. Had to take off for a little while. Excuse me, my allergies. I ran out of allergy medicine. Had to uh, take off for a little while and just air out and kind of um, get myself together. And now that I'm just about there, I have a cute little place I've been fixing up and um, I like it. It's like five minutes from my work. I do work full time, so I won't be doing the selling like every week but I can't just completely walk away from it because I really love it. I love finding the things. I love sharing the things. I love uh, talking with all the groups of people. Um, you guys have been great and I just uh, missed you quite a bit and wanted to come back. Um, so this is it guys, I'm back. <laughs> uh, Let's go on to show, well, I'll show you one of my favorites. Here's a, it looks like a melon bowl on the bottom, but then it's double crimped. It's the peach style. It is not, it has the silver crest going around the peach. It is ruffled, but it's double crimped. So it looks even fancier. Isn't that gorgeous? And this one, there is no Fenton label or Fenton engraved in there. As you can see, but it has no chips or cracks. It's in beautiful condition. Whoever had this took very good care of it. Um, and I have this one, which is, let's see, it is, I'm going to measure for you. Across, it's, uh, about 10 inches and high it is about to the highest point is four inches but not only that i have another one very similar but it's a little bit squattier see how it's shorter and it doesn't have the melon part on it compared to this one yeah so this one looks a little bit wider even and this is called the peach, you know, it looks pink, 
but they call it peach, I believe. And there's no Fenton uh, label on that either. No chips, no cracks. It's gorgeous. I love it. And in my book, okay, let me pull to the page that I was looking at. Here's a full page. Oh, here's a full page. Oh, of the peach. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is the Fenton Art Glass Patterns, 1939 to 1980. And let me measure this other one real fast. Oh, that one's almost, let's see. That one is 11 inches wide. And to the highest point, it is four inches. Now, why does that look taller? I guess just because it has more of a pedestal on it, it looks taller. But um, so in here, where I look out the crimp, double crimped bow, they have nine inch, eight inch, um, double crimped, five inch, six inch. I'm looking for the larger. So, okay, so they're going up to nine inch peach crest, they call it, peach crest, double crimped. Introduced in 1949, discontinued in 1952. And the nine inch was valued when this book was published or whatever. 70 to 80 dollars so that gives you kind of an idea let me see if they have the one that we actually have oh here it is 10 inch double crimp it's what well, they call it 10 and a half inch double crimped introduced 1946 to 1948 and valued at 75 to 80 dollars back when this uh book was published this book um i'm sure it's not all that new I got this in, um, what do you call it, Amazon, and uh, I got it more for the pictures to just see. Yeah, this was copyrighted in 1999, so it's been quite a while ago, but uh, I love the Peach Crest, and um, it was funny that two pieces were in here for that, but look at all those different designs. I mean, they, got, they have some gorgeous Peach Crest in there. Isn't that pretty? So I just wanted you to see that. And like I said, so um, they're saying back then in 1999, it was like 70 to 80. And I think glass went out and came back and it's still strong. So um, if I can get that, that would be wonderful because then I would get back what I pay for the whole lot in two bowls, that would be wonderful. But, whatever. Let's see. So next, I'm going to compare this one. This is the uh, aqua. And it's aqua on the outside and the inside. So see that. And this is more compatible to this. And it has the silver crest. See the edges? Isn't that gorgeous? I just love it. It's like, oh, I love it. And this one's white on the outside. And then the peach on the inside. I'm just going to stack these ever so slightly. Okay, so the aqua, also I cannot see Fenton on it. So it must be older than the 1970s. I believe that's when they started imprinting Fenton on them. So you know you're going to get an older piece. This one is also, I think, like a 10-inch bowl. I did wash all these. Oh, that was a job. And I still have lots more to wash. And I have a lot of ladies' vases, lady head vases also. And I think um, Dee's going to enjoy that because she collects those. So this is also a 10 and a half inch bowl. And it's the aqua looking. Now this, I don't know. I might let it go. I may not. You all have to tell me how much you love it. <laughs> if you really, really love it and want it in the sale, we can put it in the sale. So that's that one. And then, um, of course, I love these. Now it's clear 
but you know, they just did that collaboration D and vintage and vinyl and um, Texas Uprising, vintage Texas Uprising, I think it's called. I was watching all their um, clear glass uh, videos and it was really interesting to see how they can put it together. And I always loved clear glass, you know. I started collecting that before I collected color and I still have a lot of it up in my cupboard. Um, I couldn't get rid of it when I moved because I, I just really like it. And um, these hobnails, this is definitely fenting because the hobnails are sharp. When you touch them, they're very pointy. I didn't see any damage on this one either. This one, oh, it's so pretty, I love it. This one measures. Ten and a half inches also so is that gorgeous or what i mean in the strong light <laughs> i don't have my light bulbs to, over here let me fix them so that they come over here a little bit there we go so i mean i can see that um rainbow effect they talk about in it oh i just love it that's another one that I love. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. You know, I'm a glass fanatic. And then look, some milk glass. Um, I'm not sure about this pattern. It does have a W. Yeah, a W in there. It's probably not going to pick up on my camera or the phone, but I'll try. Can you see the W? Now this does have um, two little yellow spots in there. And um, I didn't work on those yet. I just washed everything because everything was so dirty. I just wanted to get it clean. Isn't that magnificent though? Look at that pedestal. Gorgeous. I love it. Okay. Now I'll show you this one. Um, this I believe was hand blown. It's not rough, but it's not totally smooth. It's bumpy, I guess you would say. A little bit bumpy. Isn't that gorgeous? Has the pink going around, rose crest, I think they call it that. It has the swirls in it, and it's nice and clear, guys. It's so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And then moving along, I have this Fenton one. Now this one is signed. It's imprinted and signed by the artist. You can see Fenton and the signature. Let me see what the signature says. V. Hendrix. And this is the little pink flowers that feel like sand. Uh, I just watched crazy lamp lady and she had a couple of pieces like this but she had some smaller pieces this is a large piece it does glow i don't know if it's going to show on camera i always have a problem with that showing on oh there we go yeah it's glowing <laughs> it does glow guys if you're into that i don't really care if stuff glows or not that doesn't make a difference to me but um some people just love the glow so i had to do that show you the glow and um, these little pink flowers are like, have a sand texture and they have the sparkles and then the green leaves are just flat. But that's a good size bowl. Also, I'm trying to make this quick. I'm trying not to be too uh, wordy. And this is called the custard glass, of course. This is eight inches across. And it's on a pedestal and it's six inches high is what this is saying okay so that's that one isn't that pretty all right on to the next bowl we did all these all these oh these two little blue fenton pieces they're almost flat oh wait a minute this one is kind of maybe it's because i just let them dry on the counter they need to be shined up like we'll have to shine them up but they do have the uh, opalescent edges very cute 
I think they're just called like a bonbon um, dish. So I have two of those. Gorgeous, right? <sighs> so much, so little time. I gotta go to work. <laughs> Here's a cut to clear cobalt blue little pitcher, ewer, ewer. I, I'm not sure how you say that. Very weighty. It's definitely a nice piece of glass. Um, very shiny. I have not yet found any kind of signature or initials. No nicks or cracks. It's just gorgeous. Look at that. Look at, look, oh gosh, look at that. Look, isn't that gorgeous? I love it, guys. Um, along with it is a little glass. So I have one little glass. <laughs> And I don't know, maybe as I go thrifting, if I see any more of these, I'll try to pick them up. But that goes with, you know, kind of goes with that. And then I also have a little, I guess this is a votive holder. Also cut the clear cobalt blue. Very nice, very nice. And along with the lot came this swan. And it's in like a pinky peach color. Isn't that gorgeous? There's one side. There's the other side. Now this one does not have a mark. No, it does not have a mark, but it's gorgeous. Uh, the bottom, no, no chips or nothing. The top, no chips. No chips or nothing. Very nice, very nice. I'm not sure who makes this. If you have an idea, please comment below. I will um, try to pick times where I don't have to rush so much. It's just hard working full time and trying to fit this stuff in, you know? Now this little basket is a cutie. It's kind of swirled. See the swirl? And then it's crimped. I'm not sure it could be Fenton. It's not marked that I can see. No cracks. It looks like it has a little seam line. That's not a crack, that's a seam line. But gorgeous, isn't that gorgeous, that blue color? Ooh, I, I went ahead and I think I sold all my blue baskets. I don't know, I gotta see. Oh, it makes me tempted to keep everything and I cannot, I cannot. <laughs> Did I show you this? I don't think I showed you this. This is the uh, Lovebirds candy dish. This is cute. Look at that. Gorgeous. And uh, same thing. No, um, no maker's mark on the bottom. No chips, no cracks. It's just gorgeous. Now this one throws me because it does have a sticker on it saying Viking. Handmade USA. Is this a Viking piece? Does anybody know? I thought Viking made more like modern things, but maybe they made pressed old fashioned glass also. Isn't that cute? I love it. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I want to keep it, but I can't. Oh, so many, so many pieces and so little time, right? Now this one, I don't know what this is called. It looks like a little watering can or something. Um, it's that, oh, I can't think of the name. Um, okay, I'm like D, I lost what I was saying. It's um, slag glass, it's in a gray, it looks like a little, you know, like cigarettes could go on either the tip or the, the back there, but um, it's a little rough on this side. I don't think it's a chip though. It's just rough. It's not sanded down and uh, has the little handle, you know, it's a grayish brownish color. It's kind of cute, but that's a slide glass. And then there were two um, beautiful Germany. This is a Germany piece. It says RW. Gorgeous. And the flowers, I think they're painted on. Can you tell on the TV? 
I think they're painted. I'll hold it up. Nice, different kind of de design as far as the cutout of the edges, not just round, but it has all of that texture too. You know, not just the paint, but the texture, the petals. I love old pieces like this. I could keep this real easy too. So if you guys don't like it, I love it. <laughs> I love these old pieces and I'm not sure how you could date this back, but it's uh, got a name on it. RW are the initials and it says R-U-D-O-L-S. T-A-D-T, -T, Rudelstadt. I have to look that up and see, you know, how late that goes back or how early, I mean, it goes back. But the colors in it are vibrant and it's such an old porcelain plate, you know, it's gorgeous. Nothing wrong with it. No cracks, no chips. Somebody took care of it. I just love it. And our last and final piece, because I'm trying to, I was trying to make this in 15 minutes and it's already 21 minutes or so, but this is uh, Limoges, France, porcelain, exclusive, or Le Cher, or Le Cher. See it? I know I'm shaky. This is my second cup of coffee, so I'm sorry. <laughs> And this is probably, uh, looks like a clamshell. This might have been like a transfer wear, but then they painted some of the flowers on top, some details. Can you see those details? How it kind of, you can see the paint strokes. That's beautiful. I love this one too. I love Limoges. Isn't that gorgeous? Try not to glare you out here. That's pretty. So with that, guys, I've shown you my whole table. And I want to, again, thank you for letting me back on your TV. If you're watching me, please spread the word that I have all this stuff. <laughs> I'll be doing haul videos until um, doing the sale with D. And then I'll be doing sales maybe once a month. I'm not going to over um, burden myself with too many because um, it just gets to be too much for me with working full time. So thank you so much for joining me and looking through my haul. Now tell me, was it worth $158? All this stuff, was it worth $158 or did I pay too much? Comment below and please, if you do not subscribe to me, subscribe now and like, comment. It really means a lot to our channels if you like, thumbs up, or you comment. Either one, I know it takes a little bit of time to comment, so if you don't have time, just like, hit that like button for me. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you in the near future with another haul video from my auction. Bye guys. I gotta turn you off. <laughs>